Hello everyone, I am the Lore Explorer and this is Outer Wilds. Today, we are going to use an interesting glitch to get some cool things to happen in the game. For newer viewers, I have an entire series dedicated to trying to find cool glitches and sights in the game and it's probably my most popular series. And in that series, I do use this glitch once to show that orbits aren't on rails, but in this video, I'm spending all of my time trying to get some cool effects out of this glitch. I was actually trying to record something else for another video when I noticed something cool happened, and that's what inspired all of this. While trying to get footage of the hatchling surviving a loop, I was watching the map, and on its last orbit around the sun, I noticed that the interloper knocked into Giant's Deep. This knocked it off its orbit and changed its path. So ditching my original plan, I immediately teleported to the interloper to check it out. Almost as soon as I landed, I noticed that we were on an impact course with Timber Hearth. Instead of getting out and just flying away and hoping for the best, I just strapped in for the ride. Hopefully, the footage is as interesting to you guys as it was to me. With this awesome footage in hand, I wondered what other cool things I could make happen with this glitch. On my second attempt at this, I was able to get the interloper to go in front of the white hole instead of going behind it in its orbit. It's pretty cool to be able to see the close encounter, and I'm pretty sure we flew right through the white hole station with this. So I just want to kind of show you guys what the solar system looks like when you're doing this glitch. All of the orbits are just out of whack and changing around, flopping around, and the whole solar system is just going crazy. This is the Hourglass Twins and how its orbit looks like now. It is changing up constantly. I'm pretty sure sometimes even Ember Twin goes towards the middle. Or is the one in the middle, quote unquote. Uh, yep, there you go. Then you can see the lines that represent the orbits are all kind of expanding, getting bigger and smaller, and it's just pretty cool. These next few videos are just the interloper getting eaten by things they shouldn't, or at least before they should be eaten. I think this one should be called the Triumph of the Interloper, because this one, it actually flew off course, it's going the complete opposite direction in which it used to be going, and it somehow skims past the surface of the sun and survives its close encounter. So who knows, it, well, it's just going to die in the supernova anyway, so still pretty cool to see though. For some reason, after a while, I got really into riding the interloper into things they shouldn't collide into. So next up, Dark Bramble. My camera gets knocked around a bit, but here's Giant's Deep. It's just really cool to be able to see the interloper in the oceans of Giant's Deep. And then it starts doing this bizarre thing where it just starts floating away from the planet. Like to be honest, I really don't even know what's happening here, but it's cool.
and poof. The timer runs out and the interloper just disappears. Now, this one may be my favorite of the whole video. Brittle Hollow and Giant's Deep get so close that Brittle actually pokes through the atmosphere. The orbital probe cannon, Hollow's lantern, and Brittle Hollow itself all end up flying through the atmosphere of Giant's Deep. These few clips are just mind-blowingly amazing to me, and I'm so happy I'm able to share them with you guys too. To tie the video off in a nice knot, here is Brittle Hollow making cozy and dancing with Timber Hearth. Even Hollow's lantern wants to say hi and sends a lava ball Timber Hearth's way. They dance for a bit until Brittle decided, eh, it's time to move on. Still, it makes for some awesome sights. But this is the last clip that I have for you guys today. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to like and subscribe, that really does help the channel. We're only a few hundred subscriptions away from 7,000, which I, I don't know why. That's always been a number in my head. It's like, once you hit 7,000, that's a big number. You can't deny that 7,000 is a pretty big number. So thanks to everyone who has already subscribed. And, of course, a special thank you to the members here on the channel. I really do appreciate all of you guys. It's a pretty meaningful thing to have a community that wants to go above and beyond to support you. So I really can't thank you guys enough. So thanks everyone for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.